Hi everybody, I'm Rick Beato. The idea for this video is something I've been thinking about for the past two days. It came from a car ride that I had with my family and I'm going to tell the story with Dylan right now. Hey everybody, I'm Rick. This is my son Dylan. Hi. <laughs> so we're driving around the other day in the car and my daughter Layla, who's five, I said, uh, hey Layla, remember that song? And I couldn't remember the name of it about the Lion King. And so I, d I said to Dylan, what is that song? And then Dylan, you sang it, don't sing it. The Lion is King of the Savannah. So I said, does it just pop into your head what notes they are? Well, it doesn't really pop into my head. It's like, it's on a, a book on a bookshelf and I pull off the book and I just open it and start reading off. It's, it's like I have a script, basically. Or a tape, like I, I have a tape recorder. What's up, Layla? Come on down. Okay, so Layla's here right now, or she's about to be here. Um, so then I thought, okay, well, Dylan, sing, um, sing Star Wars. <laughs> sing the Superman theme. Okay, sing, uh, let's say, Aiden's song, Deep. What about uh, Baby Shark? Hold on, Layla. Come here, come over here. We're making a video. Can you sing Baby Shark? Baby Shark to do, to do, baby shark to do, to do, to do, baby shark to do. Okay, when you think of that, Layla, what are you thinking of when I ask you to sing it? Does the song just pop in your head? Yeah. This ability to audiate or hear in your mind's ear, to hear ba 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 that's all the things you are, or ba 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 giant steps, or da 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 Stella by Starlight. You'll notice that there's a split second from when I think of the song to when the sound comes out, when I start to sing it. Because it takes me a second and what I'm doing in that second is I'm imagining those recordings that I've listened to a thousand times. I'm imagining what they sound like and I'm going with my first instinct. What you need to do is take what your inner ear is telling you and translate it. The easiest way to do it is through your voice. Now many times that sound is very quiet or doesn't exist at all. But through repetition of listening to things and, and focusing on it, you can focus that energy into hearing these sounds. If sometimes it, you would think of a song, or I'll think of a song, um, ba 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 da 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 da. That's my romance. I couldn't think of the beginning part. Da 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 da. I thought, okay, I can hear the, the second phrase, but I can't hear the first phrase. So I'm going to sing it until my ear catches up and I can grab the first part of the phrase. It's in B flat major. That's how I learned it. But my ear couldn't grab onto the beginning part of it. I'll give you another example. When my son Dylan was three years old, we drive around in the car and I remember specifically saying to him, we'd listen to things, listen to music. And every time that we'd get in the car and go somewhere, I'd say, Dylan, I want you to imagine, I want you to sing the beginning of the Brandenburg Concerto number three. He said, what do you mean? And he's just a three-year-old kid. I said, think of what it sounds like in your head and just sing what your first impression of the melody is. And he would think, da-da-da-da-da-da. So, I just did what I told Dylan to do. Now, when he first did it, I didn't realize that he was actually singing the correct notes. It didn't occur to me. Like I said, I don't have perfect pitch. I'm not using relative pitch to connect these two things, like my romance and this. I'm not thinking about that as I'm filming this. I'm just hearing and translating what my first instinct is for what these melodies sound like. It takes really focused listening and practice to be able to hear and translate. Anyone can really do this. Anyone can sing their favorite songs. They may not be in the right key, but they can sing the right intervals 
without thinking of the intervals. This does not involve relative pitch or perfect pitch. It simply involves your imagination and being able to take a quiet sound and make it loud. Make it loud enough to be able to just sing it out instantly. That's all for now. Please subscribe here to my Everything Music YouTube channel. If you're interested in the Beato book, go to my website at www.rickbeato.com. And if you want to support the channel, become a member of the Beato Club. Thanks for watching.